Hey, what's up guys? It's Miro, uh, back with a quick tip on how to use a uh, Native Instruments battery within a drum rack within uh, Ableton Live. So, um, you know, right now I just have this uh, eighth hi-hat um, going on, but um, when I switch to the 16th um, closed hi-hat, uh, it, uh, it, you know, it really just needs to be side-chained. Now, in this uh, third clip, I have uh, the open hi-hat and that 16th hi-hat I was talking about. And, um, you know, I don't really want my side chaining to affect the open hi-hat. So if I were to play it for you, it sounds like this. And so that that 16th hi-hat, it just uh, is too present. Uh, it needs to groove and fit with the, uh, you know, kick and bass a little better. So um, I've created this, uh, you know, new audio channel called hats and uh, i want to send that 16th note signal to that hat channel now i'll show you how i do that uh in a minute but um also wanted to show you how you can uh save yourself some cpu by only having one instance of battery open by um if i were to create a new uh, midi track it'll be here in purple um you want to drag your drum rack onto your midi channel and then um, drag one instance of battery onto any of your pads here. So, um, you know, if I were to then select a different kit, you can see I have 48 different sounds here on this uh, instance of battery. And so, you know, if I were to click, you know, C1, you know, C1 plays, but then if I were to click um, D1, you can see it triggering over there on the uh, bottom left here in the MIDI note. But obviously, it's not making any sound here within battery. So, you know, what we have to do is we have to click on battery, open up the uh, chain window, click on this IO for in out section. And instead of receive C1, we want to change that to receive all notes. So then you'll notice the, you know, kind of battery instance kind of disappears from the C1 channel. And now when I click all my different notes, you can see that, uh, you know, or now we can hear all the different uh, samples being played through battery. So um, that's uh, essentially how I have it set up here on this drum rack. Um, but uh, in order to now send just the closed hi-hats to their own um, audio channel, we want to uh, open up battery and then right-click on the closed hi-hat and go output instead of master let's change it to direct out and you can see here you have 16 uh, stereo pairs um, of direct out per uh, battery instance so let's select the uh, stereo three four out and um, over here on the hats channel we want the audio from the drum rack here with the battery instance on it and then also to select the specific channel coming from battery so drum rack battery four stereo three four out so um then we want to make sure that we change the monitor to in and now when we hit play you can see that i have an individual volume fader for the closed hi-hats now you know if i were to um, side chain that because i don't want the uh, open hi-hat to be side chained now i can throw a compressor on to the individual hats channel. So sounds much better with that uh, side chaining going on. So then if we wanted to uh, do the same thing for the open hat, right now you can see the open hat is triggered here through the actual instance of battery. But if we were to do the same thing, let's open a new track. Uh, let's call this open hat. And so I'll do this um, with every single instrument coming from my battery uh, track in order to have more control of it. So, um, you know, the open hi-hat, instead of having to come in here and adjust the individual level, then I can do it from the actual fader or gain plugins from that audio channel. So we right-click again, go to output, um, direct out. Let's go to stereo 5.6 this time. We'll go external... Or, or sorry, audio from uh, the 10 drum rack. And then instead of post mixer, let's select a uh, stereo 5.6. Make sure to monitor in. And now we should have... Um the 
open hi-hat and both the closed hi-hats on their own audio channels and we can apply different effects to them and again only one instance of uh, battery so we're saving some CPU here. So then you can uh, group all of your um, you know, individual audio tracks and uh, treat it like your uh, drum bus, throw your glue compressor on, um, any other effects that you want to apply over the, you know, hole. And, um, you know, it's just a great way of uh, splitting out your battery rack into individual channels to give you more control. And while also keeping only one instance of uh, battery open to uh, save yourself some CPU. So if you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and happy music making.